Hiya, it's me Donna, I'm back again if you're new to my channel, welcome if you're somebody who's been through come back, welcome to you, thank you for calling me back. Today, it's a home bargains haul, I went to home bargains Friday evening-ish, yeah, about six-ish, I think you call that evening, I think, yeah, um, and got some bits, I only went to get one thing. And ended up getting other stuff because I was I thought I'm here now. And it came to £45.13. I went to the um home bargains in Bromsgrove because that's the nearest to me. <laughs> oh no, there's one in North there's one in Northfield. Which is probably nearer actually. But I like the one in Bromsgrove. So <laughs> I'll go to the one in Bromsgrove. So um I waited till Lynn got home from work so I had the car and this is like waffling on a little bit, but Basically, uh, I went to the shop to get this certain item because on the morning I've been to the hairdressers and asked for, um, they call them curtain, it, well we call them fringe but it's described as a curtain bank which is basically I've had my hair sort of cut there like you know so I've got like a long super long fringe and um, yeah and she used one of them so this is what i went for basically i've got four of them i think they were 99p i'll put the um price on the screen somewhere but i went to get these because when she did it she put this in and rolled it up and then i had a roller on my head and when she put it down it looked nice and i've tried it and it don't quite look like how she did it but I'm not, um, well she says you're supposed to do it um, after you've blow dried your hair but before you straighten it so don't straighten it but I wash my hair on the night so I'm supposed to do it in the morning so this morning I've just sprayed a bit of air spray on my hair and tried to like curl it I left it on for a good half an hour and um, yeah it don't quite look <laughs> how I thought it would but anyway that was the reason that I went and I got them like I said they were super cheap and I think it needs a bit more practice so um, I'll show you my other stuff hang on this is really wobbly I'm going to try and um, basically I'm using I've got this other one this um, thing that you put your phone on and it's like a wiry thing that I've got clipped to the windowsill but it wobbles so if you're wobbling a bit i'm sorry i don't know how to um stop it but i've moved them carrier bags that were in the corner there then me um stuff that i got from the charity shop which i need to do another haul but right um yeah another thing that i wanted to get as well i forgot to say well i didn't realize i wanted to get it to a seen it and it reminded me i wanted to get when i was in the hairdressers i had my hair down while she was putting all the colors on the back and then when i lifted my head up right I had a big black blob there of um, eyeliner because my um, eyeliner pencil was a bit, well, it, I need a new one. So I used uh, the liquid eyeliner and obviously I hadn't given it a chance to dry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I looked up, so a big black blob there and then I'm like trying to rub it off, <laughs> you know, with my finger. But, you know, then because it's, I've got hooded eyes, but that high eye is more hooded than that eye, right? And ages ago, I did buy from Amazon, you know, the strips that you're supposed to put on and it makes your hooded eye not look so woody. But I couldn't use them, so I binned them. Anyway, since I came back from the hairdressers and like, you know, thought bloody hell, like, you know, <laughs> stupid eye. Um, I went on YouTube and I had seen it before, but I'd forgot about it. So I, I Googled it again and not Googled it. I looked at it again on YouTube and then people were saying, some women used actually um, plaster, but some people were using these um, medical medical tapes. So this is open, right? Because I have actually had a little play with it. And what I'll do is I'll tag the video that I tried to do this morning of me trying to do my uh, hooded. I just tried that one first and tried that one. So um, this was cheap as well. I'll put the price on the screen, but um. I thought this might work for my hooded eyes, but you'll see the results. Like I said, I'll, people who just want to watch the um, Home Bargains haul video, I assume, right? No. But um, if you want to see how I try to sort my hooded eye, 
But in fairness, I've got the liquid eyeliner on today. Maybe I just got a bit carried away and put too much on. But yeah, I, did, I don't like that. I mean, it, when I go to the hairdressers, although they do give me something to wipe all the dye off my head, I still end up coming out <laughs> with a big blob of dye all around there. Normally on my ears as well. But this time, like, you know, I had all dye around there and a um, big black blob on my eyes. So that was nice. I mean, to walk <laughs> looking like that. But anyway, I shouldn't moan, to be honest, because the girl who does my hair now, is she's like a student. She's um, the owner's daughter. Her daughter's working there. And because I'm still learning, you get it done half price. And I've got to be honest, she's done it the past couple of times and she's done a brilliant job. Well, I don't know what you think, but I, I'm really pleased with what she does. And she spends ages doing it and she gives a good head massage. So anyway, got me tape. Everybody's bum needs some toilet wipes. And these bloody things are quite expensive for what they are. So these were actually two for a quid, which I thought was really good. We normally buy shop's own brand ones. We don't buy the um, Andrex or anything like that. Because, I mean, you're just wiping your bleeding bum with them. You don't need anything special, do you? But my gripe with these things is, right, why are they always so small? So I'm going to open it to see how, how small do they think our bums are. So let's have a look, see how big this is. How many is in there? 50. So 50 for 50p. Ah, hang on, these rip quite easy. We <laughs> have to be careful of that. Hang on. Look how tiny that is. I mean, they're in, like I said, a pound of wipe, uh, not a pound, a penny, a penny of wipe. So that's like without the hole, obviously. <laughs> but I can't complain because I was super cheap. But my gripe with these is, right? There's a toilet wipe. Um, here's a baby wipe. Look, do you like my box got for me, babe? <laughs> when Sunny was little, you could buy baby wipes and they used to come in a plastic box. Do you remember? You can't get them anymore, can you? Hang on. So that's a baby wipe, Tesco's own brand. And that's a toilet wipe. So I'm all right, mate. Oh, actually, there's not much in it. I'll shut up then. <laughs> It's a little bit smaller, but not as small as the other ones that we had last time. But anyway, um, two for a pound. Yeah, that's, let's put them back in the right place. I don't want to wear, be wiping my face with toilet wipes, but I don't think it would matter really. I reckon it's all the same thing anyway. But they're flushable, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They've got to be, mate. So yeah, so that was my next item, my last item. And the next item, is some chewing gums 60 these are my favorite cool breeze always get chewing gums because chewing gums stop me from snacking <laughs> um next thing deodorant i don't normally get this one i normally get the one is it the black and white one is it black and white hang on do I normally get is this a... mm, things have just fell this is the one that i normally prefer the invisible one because apparently don't stain your clothes but it was quite sparse in there for deodorant there wasn't much in there at all which actually is a good thing that means people are buying this stuff because nobody wants to be by somebody in the summer who doesn't use deodorant do they either you don't want to stand next to someone who doesn't use deodorant somebody who smokes and especially somebody who smokes weed because <laughs> that's not nice how they can't smell the smell of weed, I don't know. They must go nose blind. I don't know. Anyway, so those are those items. I'll just get the others. Next is all my hair stuff. And um, I've got to be honest, I was hanging around the hair section longer than I needed to because uh, there was a kid in there who was really loud. <laughs> and I don't know whether his parents were deaf. It was just so, you know, one of them kids where you're like, <laughs> please stop. <laughs> but he didn't, so... I hung around this section quite a while and I got usual suspects some more um hairspray ultra strong hold which I don't really need now but when I'm at work I tie my hair back into a pony and um I've got loads of wispy hairs <laughs> everywhere it just looks like I've put my finger in the socket so I tend to use that when I tie my hair back which I tie my hair back with these and there's not many here actually there's only five. Normally I get them from Poundland and you get a big bundle of them, but there's only five. And the reason I have to keep buying these is because 
my son like i said my son moved back home with his girlfriend and the cat and the dogs and um yeah it's like a zoo at the moment in this house but uh the cat who's called fish likes to come in this room quite a lot Lots to climb on the cupboards and everything and not leave loads of hairs on my chair but her favorite pastime is i'll show you this this is me um is it cookie i don't know no it's not a cookie what is it whatever this is i got this from the charity shop i tend to put these on there like that and uh, she likes to take them off and hide them all around the house so uh, i do put some inside as well but i've just got into a habit of putting them on there but i just keep them on there now for her to play with because she likes them <laughs> so that's why i've got them so they'll disappear i'll, I'll give them a week <laughs> the next item is a spray water spray like I said this is what I wanted to use with the curler I thought maybe um just give it a little spray in the morning then put the curler on because like I says I washed my hair on the night so that was the the thought behind that whether it'll work or not I don't know but um some more hair dyes and I'll, these are super cheap but like I say when I do my hair they didn't have these last time then I went in when I do my hair myself, I literally just do my roots because um, I, that's all I can do, to be honest. So I just do the roots and these are so cheap. There's literally only enough just to do my roots. So I've got two of them. I've got another. I thought I bought something else. I feel like there's something missing. <laughs> you know, I bought another um, heat protection thing, repair and protect. That's what I put on before I drawing the hair i couldn't think what to say <laughs> so i've got another one of them because i get through loads but i don't know if you noticed in my last video i was scratching my head a lot because my head was itching because i've always got an itchy scalp i know i wash my hair every day in the shower i know some people say you shouldn't do that but if i don't do that my head looks really greasy honestly it does it no amount of dry hair, hair <laughs> shampoo is going to fix it so i have to wash my hair every night and I've got an itchy scalp so I use tea gel the normal tea gel but I think my head's got immune to it so I thought I'd buy this one which says it's for daily use so I thought I'd give that anti-dandruff shampoo sensitive scalp fragrance free so I'll give it a go <laughs> right it's the same price as a normal one so maybe I put too much on I don't know or maybe I don't rub it in enough but it's bloody annoying <laughs> you know i just wish i could use normal shampoo but every time i try and use normal shampoo the itching is i i haven't got nits it's not a nit it's just an itchy scalp I've got greasy skin and a dry scalp how does that work so <laughs> that's what i got i knew i had another hair product just found this in the bag it says dream cream define and shine hair serum silicone free 100 millimeters so um i don't know how much i paid i'll put it on the screen and it says use on wet or dry hair smooth and add shine so okay so let's have a look then so it is a cream look so it says you can use this on dry hair hmm. is it shiny yet anyway so that's what i got to try and get my hair shiny that and i'll put the price on the screen never used it before see how i get on i think it might be better with my hair when it's wet but um it's all slimy <laughs> so next some dove soaps i'll get through a load of this because I'm, I'm not really into shower gels i prefer a nice soap proper old school and then i got some revolutions watermelon hydrating on dry patches that loads of uh, revolution stuff let's have a look can i open it oh it's got a uh, plastic seal on which is good i suppose look it's got another one and another one hang on have a look that's what it looks like it's got little grabby thing 
That doesn't look very nice, does it? Ah, look. Okay, it don't look that bad now. It just, oh, let's trump, uh, pop it back in. So that's what I got for under my eyes. How many there? Hold on, let's put it all back together. It doesn't really smell. I thought it would smell quite stronger than the watermelons, but there's not much of a scent. Right, let's put it back together. What does it say? I do not know. <laughs> I've got my contacts in and this writing is so small. You have to have a bionic eyesight. When you think of watermelons, you think of hydration. These cute anaesthetic under eye patches are just that. For instant boost in hydration that would pack a seriously juicy punch. They really are one in a melon. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to try them. Um, wipe it off the table. So <laughs> the next thing is some whips. I wanted to get them ones that I bought the other week. Um, the coconut ones, I think they were called Saints. They were really, really nice, but they didn't have none. So I've got these white chocolate and lemon, five bars, 80 calories each. And then I think I've definitely had these before. Please. They're going to be small, aren't they? Look at that lot. And that's what they look like. And they taste really, really nice. They do. I got these for my son. Um, I didn't know which ones to get, so I got two of them. And when I got home, he'd just come back from Boots and already bought some. So now he's got some more. And this one, active in 15 minutes, lasts up to eight hours. So um, the price should be on the screen. And this one, 8 in 1, hay fever relief, nasal congestion, sinus sinus discomfort watery eyes runny nose itchy nose itchy eyes sneezing and red eyes Hundred, oh yeah oh yeah pratting on <laughs> that one's tablets and this one um i think you put it up your nose look it's got a little picture i didn't even see that i just seen the um hay fever relief so it's non-drowsy nasal spray so that yeah <laughs> so that one's from your nose that one's for in your mouth so i've got in them so when he's used his ones that he's already got he can have them next i got yankee candles but it's not a candle look i don't know what it is and it's really annoying because you can't smell i know what cotton fresh smells like but sometimes i still like to open them and um have a sniff but obviously nobody does scratch and sniff anymore Remove white ring and foil seal before use. Oh, white ring. Move that. Get rid of the seal. No, nope. it goes everywhere. And look. Yeah, it smells of. Look at the little balls. Pick one up. Ooh. <laughs> I got the squishy little balls, like little tadpoles. You know what it reminds me of? Has anybody had them? Um, What's that tea called? Bubble tea? Has anybody had bubble tea? It looks like that, like the picture. I've never had it. That does smell nice. But Liam's had it and I've never heard of it before. We was driving through Selly Oak and I seen a shop selling loads of other stuff. I just go back on. And it said bubble tea and I said to Liam, what the what blooming hell's bubble tea? And he said it kind of looks like that with bubbles in. He's had it. He says it's really nice but a bit on the pricey side. So um, I haven't had it. <laughs> <laughs> but um but the way you described it, it sounds like this and the top won't go on properly it's on now yeah it does smell like um cotton i'm just wondering what what do them little bubbles disappear when it goes or do they stay because they're a little bit squishy i don't know yankee candle but yankee candle that's not a candle <laughs> so i'm gonna wash my hands a minute before i show you my yeah uh, the last item and gone. The last item is an acquired taste. If you're a vegetarian, obviously you ain't gonna like this bit at all, but um some cockles. I love cockles. I do. They look disgusting. 
but they taste really really nicely and hates them um right i've got a screwdriver and you probably think to open it and you're probably thinking why she got a screwdriver in the bedroom because um that wardrobe is on a track and so once a week it comes off it's actually off at the moment but the other door's holding it up so no matter how many times i um push it up and re-screw it back on about a week yeah it'll come off I've, probably because that's the side i use the most so that's why this screwdriver lives in this bedroom and it's got a bit of paint on at the moment because um i used it to open a pot of paint the other day because <laughs> i couldn't be bothered to get anything else and i thought i know where a screwdriver is that i don't have to go through a toolbox and find so there you go so um you know what these look like yeah you must have had them at the seaside and got you can't go to the seaside without having a car pool. I'm doing this because if Liam watches it, he won't like it at all. So that's what cockles look like. And they are... No blame. Remember in the pubs? When they used to come round with um, the, all the fishy stuff. All the cockles and... What are them? Fish sticks? And other stuff, on it? That's really nice. <laughs> Needs a bit of salt on. But um, yeah, there's my cockles that I'm going to put in the fridge in a minute. <laughs> Which if I don't eat them in time, then we'll probably bin them because they'll say it's disgusting. But everybody's got different tastes, haven't they? It's okay, like it's flapjacks and all that sort of stuff. And I'm, I'm not, I don't like that sort of stuff. It's too dry. So that was on my haul. That's it. Um, this one, the, I forgot to say, there's 15, no, there's not, <laughs> there's 60 pieces in there. This one is apparently Curly Girl inspired, which I'm curious about because I've seen another video on YouTube where some girl says, if your hair in the morning you wake up like this and it's a bit wavy, you could probably have to get curls by putting your hair in water and doing all, all sort of this, scrunching your hair. And I'm like, oh, my hair looks like that, but I don't know. So I might give this curly girl finger a, a little go. You never know. What else? You've seen everything else, haven't you? Showed you everything. Um, I'll attach the video now to where I tried to do my, um, the hooded eye technique, which I think if I practice, I might get it okay. But then the next problem after that is, can you put your makeup on top of it? Or are you going to walk around with big white things on your eyes and everyone looking at your eyes? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video and want to give it a thumbs up, that would be brilliant. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be great as well. If you want to follow me on Instagram, look, I'm scratching my head. I'm scratching my head. I need to use this. Maybe it's just a habit of scratching my head. I don't know. But the other two videos I did, I noticed you know, every two minutes I was scratching my head. But, um... It was too late then, I'd already done it. So, um, yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Donna the Brummy. I don't put a lot on there, only memes. This week I've just put on a picture of my bedroom because I decided to decorate my bedroom. I decided to do a mural wall, which I misread the um, information. And for some reason I thought if I buy two of them, where it comes to the bit where I'll be short, I can attach the other one. But because it's a mural mural not a mural it's a mural wall and um, it starts off again as a different pattern so it didn't join so i had an inch where it didn't join so um liam had to go to b and q so now round our door frame we've got an extra trim which don't look that bad to be fair but you'll be able to see the picture on instagram <laughs> anybody got any old time <laughs> can you hear him is he coming round as soon as I talk, he's going to come in here. So uh, I've got no old eye for the bloke. <laughs> I've got loads of crap in the um, garden. Next time I have a week off, I'm getting a skip and I'm sorting out the shed. The one shed's falling apart. I'm just going to put that straight in the skip. And uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the garden. I think just gut it and start again. But anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Um, that was a bit waffly again, but you'll see now. Me always. Okay, bye. <laughs> Tra. So I got this and it was 99p and it was from Home Bargains. 10 metre medical clear securing tape. And it looks like that. And according to the videos that I've seen on YouTube, this can fix your hooded eyes. 
I know you can buy them already cut, but I was in home bargains anyway, so I thought I'd buy it. So it's not exactly clear. It's got all little square things on, but right, what they said is, oh, so I'll cut it, hang on, cut it about an inch. That's a, hang on, cut it better than that, obviously. That's about an inch, and then they cut it in like a half a circle so that's about half a circle so i'm gonna have to look in my mirror now it's that always hooded but this always hooded even more so let's see if i can put it on so that's eye before close my eye stick it on I think I made it a bit too big and it's not sticking. <laughs> uh, not at the moment. And go, let's try again. I think it's too big. One sec. Try. Right, let's put it lower then. Okay. It looks like I've been punched in the eye at the moment. <laughs> It looks a bit more open, I think. No, it doesn't, does it? It, it literally looks like somebody's punched me in the eye, so anyway. It don't work. Or does it? I don't know. <laughs> that looks weird. Anyway, that's my attempt of um, making my eye look bigger. Why does it look weird? That looks so weird. Let's do the other side. <laughs> Maybe it's because the other side is looking... That's, that's looking very odd. Hang on, let's uh, cut another piece. Let's try the other eye then. See if, um, see if that's what it needs to uh, match up. No. Okay. You can see it. I don't know. <laughs> I tried. Tried. Never mind. <laughs> 